um, you know, the AI related stocks and how well they've done and how well we think it's going to continue to do. They look expensive at the moment, um, but there's still value in other parts of the S&P. So now you have a dilemma in the market saying we're going to ruin the June and July rally, go back to the 4100 level. Or other people are saying, no, nope, there's still steam there. You've already mentioned this almost slightly, but what, what are your thoughts? What do you think will head up in the, um, you know, um, pre-election seasonality area? So I think... AI is a, a big buzzword, but as a trader, who cares? You're looking for momentum. Mm. Um, and this is where I kind of say, all right, so who cares if you don't actually like the underlying thing or you think chat GT, GPT mm. isn't actually, you know, worth that much? Mm. There's certain uses for AI, but I don't think they're replacing a human for, for for most. I think it's a fantastic way to sort things and find information really, really quickly. But the amount of things that go wrong with it are, are, are massive. You know, mm. there's there's so many mistakes when I've tried to sort of just find a paragraph or a little piece of, of writing to inspire some, some thoughts. Um, but that doesn't matter because other people are buying it. You know, mm. at the end of the day, you've got to throw your thoughts, thoughts away. But I think... As a factor of the general market, it is expensive. Mm. It is very expensive right now. Um, and funny enough, I think I mentioned about the 12-month trailing price-to-earnings ratio. Correct. For the Russell, that's been cut in half versus last year. For the S&P, it's down maybe, I think, like four points or something like that. But for the NASDAQ, I think it was up like five or six, mm. which shows you that AI as a sector has really, really kept the NASDAQ up, whether it's mm. been via you know, meta, whether it's been via uh, chips, you know, with with uh, NVIDIA or, or whatever. Correct. Yeah. So it's been a great narrative. It's mm. been a fantastic narrative. And I always think that, you know, if there's, as George Soros said, if there's a bubble, buy it. <laughs> because bubbles just go up, mm. you know. Um, I do think it runs out of steam. But again, I think the market runs out of steam if considerable steam is, is what I mean here mm, as mm. in you know you start seeing those big illiquid drop-offs mm. um it starts to run out of steam when we start to see unemployment it goes back to that it goes back to that because credit spreads are like that mm. and credit spreads are going to be the one thing when that seizes up probably from unemployment when people can stop paying stuff that is when things occur because what that implies what credit spreads basically implies that there's no wages being paid which means there's unemployment, right? Mm. There's there's no facilitation of profit. There's no cash flowing into mm. businesses. Yeah. They then can't pay their corporate debt and it you know crumbles and again, want to refer back to the Russell PE ratio. Mm. It's been cut in half. Mm. So we're kind of already seeing it. I think um I think there was a period in 2020 when the Russell's PE was actually no, 2021, sorry. When the Russell's PE was actually negative because most of the firms there weren't making money. Mm. Um so yeah, there's a lot of dying companies out there. Um, but if rates were, you know, lowered quite quickly, they might turn a profit because their debt's cheaper. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But yeah, credit spreads are very, very important across the whole grade as well, from A all the way down to junk. Uh, sorry, triple A all the way down mm -hmm. to junk. Um, and I think I saw that. So if you were to look at a chart of the the basis point pricing of of debt. Yeah. It kind of goes like this. So you've got quite a lot of AAA debt mm. and then it decreases. But when you get down to junk, it's a massive hockey stick again. And that's about 700 to 1,000 basis points, I think they're priced at. So it was that 7% uh, to 10% to yields. Mm. There's, yeah, there's basically a lot of crappy debt out there. Um, mm. And, you know, if rates go up again, that will increase it again up to maybe... 11 percent 12 percent that's maybe when things seize up but who knows 